Turning back to local news here at home, some of Vermont's hardest hit communities are getting new guidance about their next steps after flooding. Like during Tropical Storm Irene, last month's flooding took a heavy toll on several mobile home parks, throwing residents' lives into disarray. Oh, Calvin Cutler is live in Berlin. Calvin, what are you seeing there? Well, good evening, Christina and Kat. The Berlin Mobile Home Park was one of the hardest hit areas during last month's floods. Uh, here, there used to be seniors and many low-income Vermonters that lived here in the park. But now, it's a, it's a ghost town. Mobile homes hit hardest by the wrath of last month's floods. A lot of money it's going to take to get this back to where it was before because I lost my driveway, lost a lot of my property. It's all underneath all that. This bank. Last week, we met Mark Christie, the owner of a mobile home in Barrie, whose house was decimated in a landslide during the deluge. He now finds himself at a crossroads. You don't know what, how much you're going to get and what you're going to get, when you're going to get it, and it's just a very frustrating situation. State leaders Tuesday laying out the next steps for mobile homeowners like Christie. Register with 211 and FEMA and ask for a certificate of condemnation from your town. And don't rush to demolish your home. Wait until the FEMA award process is complete. I understand that highlighting a process that more efficiently confirms your home is a total loss is hardly something to celebrate. But we want folks to get as much assistance and as quickly as possible. So far, about $8 million has been dispersed to homeowners. The maximum award is about $41,000. The cleanup and recovery effort in some communities has been slower. Here at the Berlin Mobile Home Park, most residences still have their entire lives contents turned inside out, waiting to be cleaned up. Down the street, yellow tags from the local fire marshal warn of mold and structural problems. All will likely be a total loss. Some we spoke with who declined to go on camera told us they were paid out just about twenty thousand dollars mobile homes can fetch well over a hundred thousand fema officials say the award is not a flood damage panacea it's to help people to to kick start their recovery uh, after the disaster right but if the federal government made you know, was responsible for this, there wouldn't be any insurance, right? There wouldn't be any requirement for insurance. 61 mobile homes have been deemed uninhabitable so far. Like with Irene, mobile homes housing many seniors and low-income people are frequently built in floodplains. Choosing to go back to that park or not is, is obviously a, a serious consideration they need to make. Solutions could include buyouts or bringing in more dirt to parks to raise homes out of the floodplain. Leaders also say they're looking to lease FEMA trailers, similar to those brought in after Hurricane Katrina. But FEMA won't allow those to be placed in the floodplain, where most of the mobile home parks hooked up to water and sewer are located. Now, earlier today, Governor Phil Scott also said that he plans to appoint a flood recovery coordinator who will handle the, the logistics and the finances of flood recovery. He says that he'll announce who will be taking over that position in the coming weeks. Reporting live in Berlin, Calvin Cutler, Channel 3 News. Calvin.